Not all exercise is suitable for everyone. To reduce the risk of injury, consult your doctor before participating in this or any other exercise program. If you feel any pain, discomfort, or dizziness, do not continue. The creators, producers, participants, and distributors of this program disclaim any liability or loss in connection with the exercise and instruction herein. Welcome to Power Yoga Mind and Body. My name's Adrienne Reed. You guys are in for a real treat today. Our theme is advanced poses, so everyone here is all excited about that. It's gonna be a tough class, so hang through. First pose we're gonna start with today is Nataraj Asana, dancer. So guys, step on up to the front of your mats. And let's just start nice and easy. You're gonna extend your left hand forward, reach back and grab your right ankle with your right hand. And on an inhale, just go up to what feels good for you. So you're gonna drive your right heel up and toward the wall behind you. And let's just go two good breaths there. So a little bit of a warm up here, guys. A strong warm up, but a good warm up. And then exhale, go ahead and release that side. Let's do the same on the other side. So let's not go into a full bloom Nataraj until we are a little warmed up. So extend your right hand forward, grab your left ankle, left hand, and same thing. Inhale, drive that left heel up and toward the wall behind you. You're extending back with your heel, forward with your fingertips, which helps stabilize your balance. And let's go one more good breath there, beautiful. And exhale, go ahead and release, shake that out a little bit. Let's go for a full bloom, couple more breaths this time. So when you're ready, once again, left hand come for, comes forward, reach back, grab your right ankle with your right hand, and then inhale, go for a nice extension. So really drive that heel up and toward the wall behind you. The further you come forward with your left hand, the more stable you'll be in that pose. And you may notice if you reach further down towards your knee, it also allows you to get into a higher extension with that back leg. Two more breaths here, looking good, everybody. And after your second breath, exhale, shake that out a little bit. You're gonna see a lot of falling today. I'm sure you're gonna be falling at home. No worries, guys, you're doing great. Same thing, other side. Right hand extends forward, shoulders height. Let's reach back and grab your left ankle with your left hand. Again, if you're a little more flexible, see if you can grab further down your shin. Let's drive that left heel up and toward the wall behind you. Very nice, guys. So go for that full bloom. Really drive your heel up and toward the wall behind. Extend those right hands forward. Beautiful, exhale, go ahead and release. Shake that out a little bit. Guys, that was difficult. Let's get a little harder, shall we? I know you're all thinking, yay. Same thing, other side. So once again, we're gonna extend your right hand forward. This time, we're gonna bring your right leg, bend your right knee and cross over. So grab your right ankle with your left hand. When you're ready, we're gonna inhale, drive your right heel up and back and extend your right hand forward. So we're crossing over, adding a little bit of a twist into this pose. That's a tough one. You're trying to really relax through your right shoulder blade, sorry, left shoulder blade, and open through that arm. We're gonna go one more breath there. Nice shot, Carrie. And exhale, go ahead and release. Shake that out a little bit, looking good. Let's go same thing on the other side. So left hand extends forward. You're gonna bend your left knee, grab your left ankle, right hand, and let's drive that heel up and toward the wall behind. So you're going for that full bloom, that nice reach with your front hand. You got it, Lona, looking good. See if you can find a focal point, fix your gaze. And exhale, go ahead and release, shake that out a little bit. Looking good, everybody, fabulous. That was difficult. You know what I'm gonna say, let's make it harder, guys. So let's go ahead, yeah, woo. Let's go ahead, that same pose. So the beauty of that pose is the further forward you extend your hand the, and the further back you extend your heel, the more stability you get. We're gonna take out that front stabilizer as I'm shaking. We're gonna move your right hand this time back to your right knee. Woo, almost fell on you, babe. Ready, here we go. So we're gonna extend your right hand forward, bend your right knee. Grab your right ankle with your left hand. And when you're ready, let's float up into that last pose that we were in. 
beautiful. If you feel real stable, sweep your right hand around, grab your right knee or thigh with your right hand. Rock on, Diane, that's exactly it. We're going two more breaths there, that is beautiful. Hard one, Carrie, sorry, babe. Exhale, go ahead and release, shake that out. If you fall in a pose, try and fall with a calmness in your breath, with a clarity in your mind. Don't get upset or frustrated. Give it a shot, it's fun to do. Same thing, other side. So when you're ready, left hand, shoulder tight. Bend your left knee, grab your left ankle with your left hand. And fall forward and really get yourself balanced and stable in that pose to start. Wonderful, when you're ready, sweep your left hand around behind. See if you can grab your left knee or your left thigh with your left hand so you're taking out that front stabilizer, which really changes that pose quite a bit, makes it a lot more advanced. One more breath there, looking good. Don't get frustrated, keep trying if you're at home. And exhale, go ahead and release, shake that out a little bit. Nice try everybody, good job, that's a tough pose. From there, we're gonna take a big step back with your left foot, we're gonna float into triangle. In triangle, you should have heel-to-heel -heel alignment. Back foot should be at a 45-degree angle. Let's inhale, sweep your arms up, bring your shoulder blades back and down. Exhale, right hands extend as far forward as possible, and you can reach down, grab your shin, your ankle, your foot, the floor, and left hand floats up toward the ceiling. Breath is nice and calm. Let's go four more breaths there. Looking good, imagine that wall is behind you. You're trying to get your hips square against the wall, your shoulder blades flat against that imaginary wall and lengthen fingertip to fingertip. When you're ready, exhale, come on up, release that. Let's step on up to the front of your mats and let's do that same pose on the other side. We're warming up for a more advanced pose here. Big step back with your right foot. Heel to heel alignment, back foot at a 45 degree angle. Inhale, sweep your arms up, shoulder blades are back and down. Exhale, left hand sweeps as far forward as possible. Reach down, grab your shin, your ankle, your foot, the floor, whatever you can reach. If you're at home, you can also use a block underneath that hand. Right hand floats up to the ceiling. Try and lengthen lower hand to upper fingertips. Lengthen tailbone to the crown of your head. Go two more breaths there, beautiful. And exhale, come on out, release, shake that up. So that's a wonderful foundation pose. Let's kick it up a notch, guys. So we're gonna take a big step back with your left leg again. So right leg forward, left leg back. Heel to heel alignment, back foot at a 45. This time we're gonna go for a revolved triangle. So inhale, sweep your arms up, shoulder blades are back and down. Exhale, you're gonna windmill your hands forward. Your left hand is either gonna fall to the shin, ankle foot on the inside. If you feel real good, you can float it to the outside and drive that right hand up. This pose is really about hips, so work on squaring through the hips, lengthening again, tailbone to the crown of your head, extending lower hand to upper fingertips. If you need stability, keep looking downward. If you feel real good, Take a look up at your hand. You'll notice how that changes the balance in the pose. Looking good, everybody. And then exhale, sweep your torso up. And let's swap and go to the other side. Step on up to the front of your mat. Shake it out if you need to, guys. Same thing here. Let's go big step back with your right leg. Heel to heel alignment, back foot at that 45 degree angle. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Get length fingertip to fingertip. Roll your shoulder blades back and down. Exhale, left hand. So windmills around, you're gonna come forward with your right hand, sorry, Carrie. You're either gonna grab your shin, your ankle, your foot. If you feel good, you can drop your hand to the inside of your left foot. If you feel exceptional, bring it to the outside and notice how that changes your balance. Once again, square through the hips. So left hip extends back, right hip extends forward. Lengthen tailbone to the crown of your head. Lengthen lower hand to upper fingertips. If you feel real good, you can also look upward. Notice how that changes your balance in the pose. And exhale, come on out, draw your torso up, step on up to the front of your mat, shake that out a little bit. Guess what I'm gonna say? You know that was hard, let's go a little harder again. So once again, big step back with your left leg. 
we're going to float back into revolve triangle again. So inhale, sweep your arms up. Let's windmill those hands down. So bring that left hand to the position that felt good for you. We're going to float right into revolve triangle. So right hand goes up. First step for this advanced pose, you're going to sweep your upper hand behind your back. If you feel good, you can hook the inside of your left thigh. If you feel real good, come to the outside of your leg with your left hand and see if you can reach underneath and hold hands with yourself. Tough pose, hold your breath, try and keep your balance. And exhale, come on out, release. Step on up to the front of your mat, shake that out. Woo, that's a good one, guys. Beautiful. Same thing, other side when you're ready. You're also quiet, smile, guys. Big step back with your right leg. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, you're gonna roll your right hand down to the floor, that position that felt comfortable for you last time. Left hand sweeps upward. When you're ready, you can sweep your left hand behind your back. Hook the inside of your right thigh if you're feeling real good. If you're feeling wonderful and flexible today, bring your right hand to the outside of your left leg. Reach underneath, see if you can hold hands with yourself and bind. That's a tough pose, very intense. Keep your calm breath, your quiet mind. You go, girl, looking wonderful. See if you can really open up through that upper shoulder and relax in. One more breath there, looking good. And exhale, sweep on up, come on up to the front of your mat. Shake that out a little bit. So we've done a pose called Warrior Three quite a few times in class. We're gonna add a little bit to that. So let's just actually start with the Warrior Three. So when you're ready, we're just gonna take a small step back with your left leg, and we're just gonna do a straight Warrior Three, guys. Inhale, sweep your arms up, extend nice and long to your fingertips. And then exhale, as your left foot comes up to hips height, you drop your torso down. And let's go five good breaths there. You should look like a giant T. Your hips should be nice and square, so you're really dropping your left hip down and extending your right hip up. You should be able to rest a plate on your lower back. You're lengthening heel to fingertips. And exhale, come on up, release, shake that out a little bit. Looking good, everybody. Same thing, other side. So let's get that warm up in on both sides. Then we'll move to the advanced pose. A little step back with your right leg. Start shifting your weight to your left leg. Sweep your arms up overhead. When you're ready, same thing. Come on up with that right leg. Come forward with your hands. Warrior three, Virabhadrasana three. Lengthen heel to fingertips. Keep those hips nice and square. Looking beautiful there, Diane. That's great. One more breath, looking good. And exhale, come on out, release, shake that out a little bit. So let's add the difficulty into that, shall we? Don't anybody here say no, we should not. <laughs> When you're ready, let's sweep your hands behind your back. You're going to interlace your fingers. We're going to take a medium step back with that left foot again. So right leg is forward. As you sweep forward, you're going to drop your torso down and draw your hands forward. Interlace your hands, draw them overhead. As I mess up there. That's called dew drop. Beautiful. So you're coming up with your foot, down with your chest. You're actually trying to touch your hands to the floor if you can. That's a hard pose. If you fall at home, no worries. Just jump right back into it and give it a shot again. Exhale, come on out, release, shake that out a little bit. You guys, wonderful, great job. This is one of those poses where you're so thankful that you have two sides. Let's do it on the other side when you're ready. So medium step back with your right leg, interlace your hands behind your head, or behind your back, sorry, when you're ready. Shift your weight to your left leg, sweep your arms up overhead, do drop. If you're feeling real good, you can drop your nose to your knee. Easy, yeah? <laughs> One more breath, you can do it. And exhale, drop on out, really shake that out a little bit. You guys, let's go ahead and sit down. I'm sure you're thinking, woo, that's excellent. Sit on down, relax a little bit, smile. This is a hard class, you should be having fun with it, not getting disappointed or frustrated. These are fun things to try. You're allowed to fall. Not many times in life you get told you're allowed to fall, so take advantage. We're gonna stretch your legs forward. So you may wanna scoot back a little bit in your mat. We're just gonna cradle your legs. So I want you to bring your right knee up and cross your arms right in front of your shin. And we're just gonna rock back and forth slightly. So we're just warming up for a pose here. So nice, relaxed movement, trying to extend and warm up through this area in your leg. Try and keep that spine nice and long while you're there. And then exhale, go ahead and release that leg. And let's swap it up. So same thing with your left leg, just kind of a cradle with your leg. You're hooking your 
shin right across your arms and just rocking back and forth gently, massaging through that left leg area, left hip area, left glutes. And exhale, go ahead and release that. So let's go for advanced. You're gonna bend your right knee and you're gonna hook your right big toe with your two fingers. Your thumb should be right on top of your right big toenail. If you want a little more advanced, you can leave your hand on your shin or you can reach down and hook your left big toe as well. We're gonna inhale, bring your right heel up towards your ear. That's called archer. And let's go three good breaths there. So you should feel a beautiful stretch through your right leg, through your right hip. That's intense, go two more breaths here. Every inhale, you're pulling that cool air right into where you're feeling that stretch. And every exhale, you're relaxing into it. Looking good, Diane. And exhale, go ahead and release. Everyone here says, oh, thank goodness. Guess what, this is another warm up, so we're gonna get harder. Get ready. When you're ready, oh, hook your, bend your left knee, hook your left big toe with your two fingers, thumb on top of your big toenails. We're gonna go ahead and draw your left heel towards your left ear, so archer. Once again, you have a couple of choices for your right hand. You can either leave it on your thigh, draw it towards your shin, or you can hook your big toes and draw it that way. Two more breaths there, looking good. Every inhale, relax, pull that cool air right into where you're feeling the stretch. And every exhale, see if you can just sink a little bit more into it. Beautiful. And exhale, go ahead and release, shake that out a little bit. Guys, you're gonna love me for this next one. When you're ready, so we've warmed up this leg and hip area, we're gonna take your right leg, bend it, and sweep your right elbow, right forearm, right shoulder, whatever you can reach. So if you can bring it up by your shoulder, that's great. Sweep it underneath, and we're gonna drop your hands to the mat, extend up. You can leave your left leg on the mat. If you're feeling real good, straighten up and extend through your left leg. And we're gonna go five breaths there. This is fabulous for balance. Excellent work through the core. Nice stretching, fabulous carry. Looking good, and you're gonna try and pop that heel up if you can. Exhale, go ahead and drop out of it. You guys smile, that's hard. You all look so serious and focused. Shake that out a little bit. <laughs> Kerry came all the way from New Hampshire to come and see me, and he's so happy he did. When you're ready, come to the other side. So we're going left leg in that same position. You're gonna tuck your left shoulder underneath your left knee, drop your hands down to the mat. When you feel good, shift your hands to your weight and pick your upper body up. If you feel real good, see if you can extend your right leg forward. Beautiful. Fabulous, fabulous, Elaine. And exhale, go ahead and release, shake that out a little bit. That's hard. Guys, go ahead and lay down flat on your backs. Take a couple of breaths, relax here, because believe it or not, we're gonna get even harder. I must have been in a funny mood when I made this class. <laughs> you got it. Next pose that we're gonna do is a little more advanced than that yet. So if that one was too intense for you, I want you to stick with either the first pose or the second pose that we did. So you can go back to Archer, go to Comfortable Partridge, or we're gonna go up into a full Partridge here. So when you're ready, arms come overhead, guys. Use the strength of your arms and abs. Come on up to sitting. Come back to that nice, calm breath. Once again, you're going to sweep your right shoulder underneath your right leg. If you're feeling real good, you can hook it behind your head. So this way, and that's real hard to do with the mic. When you're ready, <laughs> you're gonna bend your left knee, pick your upper body up off the mat, and drive your left toes up toward the ceiling. Phew! April's thinking, no way. Wonderful, wonderful. So you're doing what feels good for you. If you're back in Archer, that's fine. We're going two more breaths wherever you are. Looking good, everybody. Exhale, go ahead and release, shake that out. Think good thoughts, smile at yourself. Give yourself a little credit for trying. These are very difficult poses. When you're ready, same thing on the other side. So left leg comes up. Hook your left shoulder underneath your left uh, knee, draw your torso up, bend your right knee, drive your right foot up toward the seat. You got it. And if you want to give it a shot, leave your bottom on the floor and drive that leg up. 
for yet another variation. One more breath there, looking good, everybody. Fall back to the variation that was good for you. And exhale, go ahead and release, shake that out a little bit. Beautiful. When you're ready, we're just going to do a straightforward fold here, guys. So go ahead in the staff pose. So legs are nice and straight. You can move that flesh out from underneath your sit bones. Feet are engaged. We're going to inhale, sweep up nice and long, sit bones to fingertips, and exhale, fall forward. Let's just go five good breaths there. Use this as an opportunity. Just completely relax for a couple of breaths here. Regroup. Sometimes you tend to get a little bit flustered or a little bit aggravated when you try and do some really advanced poses and you can't quite get them. That's okay, no worries. Just use this as an opportunity to calm yourself back down, get your heart rate back down. And then when you're ready, guys, sweep your torso up. So you know that was a total setup. We're gonna make that pose harder, right? So we're nice and straight through the legs. You can move that flesh out from underneath your sit bones again if you need to. This time we're gonna inhale, sweep up, get nice and long, sit bones to fingertips. Exhale, fall forward. As you fall forward, see if you can hook your big toes with your fingers, thumbs on top of your big toenails. You're gonna bend your arms slightly, draw your chin up, look up, and arch back, which definitely makes it more intense through your back and through your lower legs. And we're gonna go three good breaths there. Looking up, giving that nice arch through your back. Beautiful. Bend those elbows, strengthen through your arms. So try and get that little bit of an arch and look up for me, Diane. Yes. Wonderful. And exhale, go ahead and release. And go ahead and lay down flat on your back. Shake that out a little bit. So we're not moving very quickly today, but we're doing very intense, very focused stretches. You may tend to, tend to work up a sweat when you do that. No worries, that's exactly where we wanna go with power yoga. When you're ready, draw your arms overhead, use the strength of your arms and abs, come on up to sitting. You got it, we're gonna float right into Ardha Baddha Padma Paschimottanasana, so we're gonna bring your right foot in towards your belly button and then roll the top of your right foot to your left hip crease. So half lotus guys. Inhale, sweep up, get nice and long, sit bones to fingertips and exhale, fall forward. If that's too much for you, I want you to drop your foot to Janu, so to this initial position and then fall from there. So we're gonna go five good breaths. If you feel real good, you can sweep your right arm behind your back and hook your right big toes. Otherwise, just hang with both hands forward. Beautiful, you can drop your hands right to the mat, Diane. You don't need to leave them hanging there, beautiful. And exhale, come on out, release. Let's do that same thing on the other side. So straighten up your right leg, shake that out a little bit. And same thing with your left foot. So let's go into half lotus. Left heel comes in towards your belly button. Roll the top of your left foot into your right hip crease. When you're ready, inhale, sweep your arms up, get nice and long, sit bones to fingertips. Carry, I keep mucking with you, sorry, man. Exhale, fall forward, you got it. You wanna keep your sit bones nice and flat as every forward fold, the more you flex your front foot, the more you're gonna feel that stretch through your calves as well as your hamstrings. So you do what feels good for you. If you're feeling real good, sweep your left arm behind your back and see if you can hook your left big, left big toe with your left hand. Otherwise, just keep both hands extended forward. That's pretty intense as it is. One more deep breath there, looking good. And exhale, sweep up and release. Shake that out a little bit. So we're gonna have time for one more quick pose today. Let's give it a shot. This is another difficult one. We're gonna go right foot back into Ardha Baddha Padma, half lotus. All right, from there, you're gonna drop your hands behind your lower back and bend your left knee. That may be intense enough for you, so if that feels good, I want you to stay there. If you feel real good, you can hook the sides of your calf, the sides of your foot, and drive your left heel up toward the ceiling. So you do what feels good for you. That may be just exactly where you need to go. Most important part of power yoga is honor where you are today. That's fabulous, Diane, looking great, Carrie. And exhale, go ahead and release. Beautiful, guys, I'm so proud of you for that one. Straighten up your legs, shake that out a little bit. Nice, Scott, nice job, guys. Same thing, other side, so when you're ready, left foot floats into half lotus. 
Your hands are going to drop behind your back. When you feel like you're ready, you can bend your right knee. Sometimes you may notice you have more flexibility on one side than the other. Do what feels good for you. You can reach down, grab your calf, grab the sides of your foot, and when you're ready, you can float your right foot up toward the ceiling if you're feeling good today. You got it, Lona. This is a wonderful challenge for balance. Excellent through the left leg and knee. Excellent through the back of your right leg. If you're doing this at home, I'm proud of you. This is a hard pose. And exhale, go ahead and release. Guys, we are done. Thank goodness, let's get ready for Shavasana. The final pose of class is the most important in yoga, called Shavasana. This pose is what you've worked the entire class to achieve, an exploration of stillness and action. As you lay on your mat, allow your entire body to come to rest. Let your feet flop open, bring your hands by your sides with your palms up. Close your eyes. Let your mind and body relax completely. The purpose of this time is to just be. Be still in your heart, still in your body, still in yourself. Try to remain in this pose for five to 10 minutes, finding health and harmony within. Thank you for your time and hard work today. If you'd like to continue to improve your strength, stamina, flexibility, and balance, order Power Yoga for Athletes. This hour-long video is for yogis who embrace a more active lifestyle. Call 1-866-629-1591 or visit adrianreed.com. For tips and secrets on Power Yoga, visit WUSF.org and click on the Power Yoga icon. You'll find frequently asked questions and show information from Adrian Reed.